to the second part of identities. I am discussing questions in page number 78. First question. As in a calendar, mark four numbers in a square. You are given numbers from 1 to 25. Find the difference of diagonal products. Is it the same for all squares of four numbers? Explain why this is so using algebra. So here I have marked four numbers as in a calendar. Now we have to find the diagonal products. Okay, let me write the diagonal products. So diagonal products are we get these two. 2 into 8 gives you 2 into 8 gives you 16 and here 7 into 3 gives you 21. Now we have to find their difference. So what is the difference of these diagonal products? You get difference is equal to 21 minus 16 which is equal to 5. Now if you take any 4 numbers here you will get the same number 5. You can verify it. Now I am going to explain why this is so in algebra. Now we know whenever we prove something using algebra, we use variables instead of numbers. So let us take the first number instead of 2, let me take it as x. So I can write the first number as x and the second number 2 plus 1 gives you 3. So I should write x plus 1. What about the next number? 2 plus 5 gives you 7. So here I should write x plus 5. Next number x plus 6. Do you understand? So using variables we can write the four numbers as x, x plus 1, x plus 5 and x plus 6. Now here we are going to find the diagonal product. So let us multiply these two. So diagonal products are, you get the first diagonal. Diagonal products, you have to multiply x into x plus 6. So when you multiply x into x plus 6, how do you write it? We know the first identity k into a plus b is equal to k into a plus k into b. So we use that idea over here. So here x into x gives you x square. x into 6 gives you 6x. About this I have explained in the first video. Second one. Second diagonal product. We have to multiply x plus 1 with x plus 5. So when you multiply x plus 1 with x plus 5, use our second identity. That is x is multiplied with both numbers. And then 1 is multiplied with these two numbers. So you get x into x. x square plus x into 5. 5x plus 1 into x, 1x plus 1 into 5 gives you 5. Now, 5x can be added to x. So, here you get x square plus 6x plus 5. Now, find the difference between these two. When you find the difference between these two, what do you get? You get x square plus 6x plus 5. Minus of x square plus 6x. Now what happens? x square plus 6x plus 5. Minus of x square gives you minus x square. Minus into 6x gives you minus 6x. Plus x square cancels with minus x square. Plus 6x cancels with minus 6x. So what is remaining? We get back 5. Here also we got the answer as 5. So when you find the difference of diagonal products in this problem, you always get 5. Third part of the same question. 
instead of a square of four numbers, take a square of nine numbers and mark only the numbers at the four corners. So corner numbers are marked. First question: What is the difference of diagonal products? Explain using algebra. So I have marked the diagonal products. Eighteen into ten gives you one hundred and eighty. Here. Eight into twenty gives you one hundred and sixty. Now the difference between these two numbers is twenty. Now let us explain it using algebra. So the first number we can take as x. Eight plus two gives you ten, isn't it? So the next number I can write as x plus two. Eight plus ten gives you eighteen. So here I can write. X plus ten. Similarly, twenty. Eight plus twelve gives you twenty. So I can write this number as eight plus twelve. Is it clear? Now what we have to do? Find the diagonal products. So we have to multiply x plus ten with x plus two. So we are going to multiply x plus ten with x plus two. Use our second identity. We have studied x plus y into u plus v is equal to x u plus x v plus y u plus y v. Using that idea, we write this as x into x x square plus x into two gives you two x. Now ten multiplied by x gives you ten x plus. 10 into 2 gives you 20. Now you can add x square plus 2x added to 10x gives you 12x plus 20. Now let us multiply x with x plus 12. So you get x into x plus 12 is equal to x into x gives you x square plus x into 12 gives you 12x. Now let us find the difference between these two diagonal products. So what is their difference? When you find the difference, you get x square plus 12x plus 20 minus of x square plus 12x. So you get x square plus 12x plus 20 minus x square minus 12x. X square cancels with minus x square. 12x cancels with minus 12x. You get back 20. Come to the second question, children. In the multiplication table made earlier, that is, multiplication table is given in page number 76. You have 1, 2, 3, etc. up to 9. Multiples of 2, multiples of 3, 4, 5, etc. up to 9. You have. Okay. Come to the question. Take a square of nine numbers instead of four and mark the numbers at the four corners. So they have given you nine numbers. What is the difference of diagonal sum? So let us find the diagonal sum first of all. So diagonal sum is equal to add these two numbers. Diagonal sum. So we have to add twenty plus six, which gives you twenty-six. Now twelve plus ten gives you twenty-two. Now we have to find the difference. So difference gives you twenty-six minus twenty-two, which is equal to four. Second part of the question. Explain using algebra. Why this difference is the same for all such squares? So to explain in algebra, let us use variables. Instead of six, let us consider it as x. Now, what is the next number then? Six plus four gives you ten. So we can say x plus four, twelve. Six plus six gives you twelve. So in this case, we can write x plus six. Six plus fourteen gives you twenty. So here I can write x plus fourteen. Is it clear? Whichever number you take, you take it as x. 
then with that to get 10 4 is added to get 12 6 is added to get 20 14 is added is it okay now let us find the diagonal sum so diagonal sum we have to add these two numbers x plus 6 added to x plus 4 x plus 6 added to x plus 4. Now we know a variable can be added to another same variable. x plus 6 gives you 2x. 6 plus 4 gives you 10. Okay. Now the second diagonal. So the second diagonal we are going to add x plus x plus 14 x plus x gives you 2x plus the number is 14. So we have two answers 2x plus 10 and 2x plus 14. So what is their difference? You get difference is 2x plus 14 minus of 2x plus 10. That is equal to 2x plus 14 minus 2x minus 10. Okay. 2x cancels with minus 2x. 14 minus 10 gives you 4. So, we got back the answer 4. We have verified using algebra. The remaining questions we will be discussing in our next video children. Thank you.